Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates. Welcome to 2022, the chapter 2 for year 2020. This is going to be an interesting year for all of us and happy new year to all of you. I wish you guys all the success, all the greatness and all the health and all the wealth in this year. Hopefully all your dreams do come true and you get all the success that you have been waiting for. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a great, great year for all of us and we're going to make it big. Let's jump into the markets and see what happened on this new year's course. Sorry, I wasn't available. I was away for my holidays last three to four months. We're very, very hectic. We took out about 142 videos, which was crazy. And we had lives every day. We had sessions every day on our WhatsApp group, Discord groups. And I needed a break, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And it was one of the best things I did in the last few weeks. So let's jump in and let's see what's happening in the market. And as we can see, it's dominance. We can still jump in. RSI have been updated on trading view. And as we can see, the money flow right now looks pretty good. The momentum is back up on Ethereum's dominance. If we jump in and if we see what has been happening, let's go into four hours. So we have a more comprehensive detail. As we can see in our four hours, we can clearly see the market made of good head and shoulders then we had a dump and now we're bouncing back from 19.89 which was a very very significant level for us as we know that we want to keep market on an upside we are on the fourth relationship of bitcoin dominance relationship where bitcoin's dominance is gonna go down and all coins are gonna go up and bitcoin is gonna go up in price as well let's jump in and let's see what is happening in our, our other dominance if we look at usdt's dominance to see whether the market is been pumping money no as we know the confidence for the investor has gone back into the dollar we had a breakout here in our usdt's dominance and this suggested us and confirmed us that the market is again believing more into the dollar than they are in bitcoin btc's dominance as we can see btc has been on the lowest low of our historical data which is 30.990 and if we know we are very very interesting to know whether we are going to be breaking this zone or not because we don't know this zone will break bhi karega, btc or not because this is a very historic zone for btc btc have never broken this zone in its history so we have to know this is important bhi hai, ke whether we will break this or not because if we really break this we are going to have all coin season which we're never gonna forget for the rest of our lives because all coins to kya hi pump karenge if we look at others dominance others dominance is also taking good support we're seeming to be making a m pattern coming into play very very soon hopefully this m pattern is not gonna be completed this wouldn't be good for us because we don't want the dominance to come down right now others is the only thing that's giving market support right now and market ko support ki zarurat hai others ki so market can keep going up and we don't want to have anything coming down let's jump into our famous btc chart for which we get a lot of criticism too as we can see the resistance is here and we're expecting the market to flip from here and have a very strong upside coming in very very soon and we had a very good w pattern also happening here and right now market looks okay it's pretty sideways as we can see uh, market hasn't had anything while i was away for holidays as well it's been pretty sideways and nothing much really happened uh, ethereum usdt similar situation as we can see here we have a strong double bottom going on right now in play and we can expect this to break out and bring us somewhere around 4000 if it does break out but for right now we have been sideways consolidating on 3777.8 Overall, if you look at the market throughout this long weekend, nothing much happened. We just had a strong upside for 51,800, which we got rejected. And then we came down very, very strongly. After that, market has been pretty much sideways. If you look at Luna, Luna is trying to get back into its trend for past several days now. We look at Matic, Matic made a new all-time high. And after that, it's been consolidating, been sideways in these zones as well. If we look at other coins, which have been performing we can see that mana from our decentraland is still facing a very very strong resistance and we haven't haven't seen any upside coming in it either if we look at sand and check out what's happening in the metaverse metaverse got rejected here as well sand and now it's been sideways pretty much the market has been sideways that's how usually the ears start and end as well we've been seeing this for now uh, almost a decade now that i've seen that only one december where we had where the market was pumping and i woke up on new year's and the market had blasted off otherwise we've never really seen that the market blast off on new year's or throughout the christmas period hopefully things are going to get better throughout our january season let's see what's happening in our news for today if we check out our news for today we have bitcoin starts 2022 at 47.2k as fresh research pins performance on china trader exodus as we know china may we had a very last
band where we had uh, waiting for the last hammer to drop China expect a mini correction when the uh, enforcement news gets out and then a relief rally that could bring us back to a track for a real Bitcoin bull market. Uh, we have been expecting that China had announcement where they wanted everybody to dump and get out of their Bitcoin exchanges for before 31st of December. 31st of December is over now. We are already on January 3rd as of today. We can expect the market wouldn't be dumping as much as it was because China had a ban and people had to get rid of their BTC as fast as they could if they were holding on towards the end of the year as well. If we can see and understand the details why this was happening because China had a crypto ban and they wanted to regulate all these things. They don't want it to have people have any more control. And this was the reason every time we had Asian timing for trading, we were, ex we were seeing that the market was dumping more than it was in European or American timing. So if we can see and understand why that was happening, that was just because we had China ban and then China ban resulted in all this. Hopefully now the ban is over. We can expect some upside coming into the markets as we will not see many more people selling their bags. Hopefully. Please buy. My friends. Sub my friends. Please. Please buy. If you look at our next news that we have the year for Bitcoin, a 2021 round up for flashing crypto. If we jump into this article as well, we can see we had El Salvador, which has already, I've just sent a Bitcoin law to Congress. So they are going to be regulating things. Bitcoin transaction garner momentum. Then we had a tap root makes it long awaited debut. So in this year, overall 2020, 2021, we had a lot of things. We even had China disrupting, which we just discussed in the earlier thing. Then we had infrastructure development surges where we saw a miners moving to Kazakhstan and different nations because they weren't okay with China's bans and issues. And Tesla bought into Bitcoin as well this year. We saw a lot of major news that happened this year for Bitcoin. So even in India, we saw that uh, they started taking steps towards making it legal. We saw Bitcoin ETFs towards uh, debuts on NYC. We saw Coinbase IPO. We saw a lot of development in 2021. Most of all, NFTs blasted. We exploded into metaverses. So everything related to crypto in 2021 has taken a massive upside and people are very, very happy, especially the ones that were holding, especially like the ones like me, early adopters, enjoying the peanuts now. If we go into our crypto greed and fear index, we can clearly see we are back at 29 level. Yesterday we were at 29, now also we are at 29. Fear is there in the market, which is very, very good for us. As we know, it's the start of the year. Fear now, buy now, later on, we're going to have big bags like we had last year where we saw massive upside rally coming after June, July, September, August. And that was one of the best times for BTC is high where it made 69,000. Let's jump into our BTC chart and see what we can expect from today. We jump into our four hours. We can clearly see that we've been taking support from here as well. Right now we're trading in these zones. We are back into the levels which we used to. So this could also be a good place for us to flip the trend. I can expect there are two upsides right now. We can expect the market to go upside or the market to go down to 44,000. This upside and downside have been remaining for some time now. It's been already three months that the Bitcoin has been in a very strong downtrend and coming down. That's usually how the market trade and market is going to flip very, very soon. And hopefully everybody's going to be happy as well. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you liked today's video. If you do smash the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section. And if there's something you want to reach out to me, you can always reach out to me on Twitter and Instagram. Link given below in the description. And happy new year guys. Take care. Bye bye.